lawn chairs have undergone a metamorphosis. While selling cocaine to a bikey man and a bikey gang in an alleyway, they were bitten by a cobra and struck by lightning and grinded upon by us. And they became the Chairquisition and were throwing lawn chairs at Kings at Kung Fuhrer. No, that would actually be awesome. It's Kings of Kung Fu. It's a fighting game on Linux. Wow, we don't have we have exactly two of them now. And it, yeah, it's a uh, your standard uh, Tekken style fight 'em up fighting game kung fu simulator. It's nine ninety nine. It's built on the Unity engine, and you can tell from the Pulse Audio underruns. It's built by J Lee Productions and inspired by classic kung fu films. This passion fueled fighter provides one versus one gameplay for gamers of all skill levels. Yeah, just look at the AI. Take what on the role of one of fourteen martial arts stunt masters as you fight to show which style cannot be beat. And of course, with the chair position, we get. The chair acquisition. One chair means that it's garbage. Two chairs means that it's ma- three chairs means that's pretty good, and four chairs means that's amazing. It is Kung Fury level of sub awesome, and we also have our categories mixed with the working shiny sense controls and fun. So let's kick this off. Then did Kings of Kung Fu make with the working? Well, let's see. How did it work on the eighty one fifty Octo Core Ubuntu fourteen oh four nine eighty powered four K displayed? Bunks of business. Well, Brad. Well, we got some issues. This thing does not detect resolution properly. Period. That's something you might have to deal with. And you're like, yeah, why well, would you have to deal with it? Because I have a 4K display, Brad. Sometimes I want to run them games at 1080. Sometimes I want to run them at a, you know, UHD resolution. And that's definitely a thing. This one can't figure it out. If you hand the game, you're playing in 4K, you relaunch it, and you're at 1080p, uh, you just get that one 1080p corner of your 4K display, and that's a pain in the ass. And it does that in spades. And I know it's possible to do it correctly with Unity, because a lot of games do. But, when you mix that in, I'm just going to say this. First of all, if you do that, you just lose two chairs. Automagically. Period. I'm sorry, I'm tired of this. But you got to mix that in with the way this thing sets resolutions. I have not seen a more jankier resolution setting <laughs> since the days of fucking DOS. You, It's a slider <laughs> bar that you hit, wait, then it'll change. It's not a simple drop-down menu. It's like, okay, run this, and this, boom, boom. No, it is miserable. It's busted. I don't like it. But it does run. So I'll give it two chairs. On the 1090 TD980 powered box of business with the 4K extra cherry on top. Yeah, no, I didn't, I didn't have that issue with the tiny corner thing. Um, I, I will say, yeah, the fucking resolution slider is dumb because you, you kind of nudge it and maybe it'll register that you clicked on it and maybe it won't. And eventually, with some persistence, you can get it to 4K <laughs> and it still runs a bit like ass. But we're, it's not about how it runs, it's rather what it, if it runs, which it did. So on Fedora 21, 64 bit, I'll give it four chairs. Why not? Yeah, on my end, since I only have the two. 1080p displays, it full screened itself to one of them correctly, which is actually something that every time I fire up a Unity game and it de- correctly detects that I have two 1080p monitors and chooses one of them and full screens properly, it gives me a little warm, fuzzy feeling inside. I'm it also spares on... them from losing two chairs. That too, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I'm running on Corora 21 64 bit with. Uh, the processor is an AMD FX8370E overclocked at 4.2 gigahertz, and an NVIDIA or an Asus GTX 970 Strix uh, to back it all up. And yeah, four chairs. Well, on my uh, i7 4790K quad core 780 powered 4K monitor, it just came up. And I think I may have had to adjust the resolution the first time I launched it, but that's not enough for me to ding at a chair. Four chairs. All right, so that's three chairs for Mix with the Working. Up next is Shiny and Sounds. Ven, did this game shin? Well, Brother Sfeng, when this critter was in early access, I, I was handing out pass organs left and right. I'm like, come on. No big issue, because... You know, I considered the graphics, the sound, the animation, the fighting system, basically everything, to be placeholders. You know, a solid foundation that can be built upon. Uh, well, they pretty much uh, changed fucked and all and called it bake. They did. And it's like, it's out of early access. 
And let me tell you this, if, if you disable all the graphical bullshit, you will see just how fugly this thing is in spades. The sounds, you know, uh, what it makes while you're spanking an opponent with your meat sticks is wholly unsatisfying. And as for the soundtrack, well, are you a fan of three-second loops? Because if you are, this is the game for you. Um, it's just not a bit of all right. It's not impressive. This... Kind of looks like maybe on a good day a low budget PS2 game. Graphically, I don't even know if I want to insult the PS2 that much. And the sounds, they are repetitive. Uh, though everyone else is going to get it a lot more than that. But my main ding was yeah, here's your level soundtrack. Three seconds over and over and over and over. Slayer! So here we go again with the two chairs. Yeah, no, the film grain effects really do a bad job of hiding like the terrible animation and the terrible rigging um yeah i uh, unlike uh, these guys i didn't turn it off because i couldn't be arsed to actually look for the obscure ass menu option <laughs> that you didn't <laughs> yeah which, which, which pedro will get into in more detail um the the announcer is just so lacist so lacist if uh i don't know probably in post we're not going to do it but throw up the little uh, black kid with the that's racist gif and yeah the soundtrack is just kind of meh i ended up uh, muting it because like like any game based on unity for pulse audio underruns out the wazoo and maybe sometimes it'll decide that the sound is gonna work so it's gonna get two chairs yeah fun fact uh it it the soundtrack as bad as it may be i didn't mind it so much but it was pretty repetitive but and he this is the fun part. If you go to the folder where Steam dumped all the game files, you can actually find a separate folder with the soundtrack. Yeah. <laughs> but can so, you replace uh, yeah. it with your own music? It's the real question. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, it doesn't look particularly good. The film grain effect makes everything look blurry as balls. And uh, I honestly... Even though they gave me the option to turn it off, I didn't fucking find it until Ven pointed it out. So, yeah, gets a ding from a chair right there. Uh, and uh, the rest of the graphics options, yeah, you get the Unity slider of nope. You want to disable, I don't know, anti-aliasing, want to try a different type of anti-aliasing, uh, want to set an anisotropic filtering, want to set V-Sync, want to... I don't know. The staples of PC gaming, as it were. You can't change them. All you get is a fucking slider. And like I said earlier, I don't mind the background music so much, but that fucking announcer screaming, Very good! Whenever someone makes a two-hit combo, got real old, real fast. And guess what? They don't have a, a separate slider control the announcer's voice so if you want him to shut the fuck up you'll have to mute the sound effects and then all you get is the crappy background music two chairs welcome to 2004 we have nice graphics Ugh. <laughs> uh, I, 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 I also didn't know there was graphical options until Ben pointed out and yeah uh, that they don't seem to do much. <laughs> One thing that it really needs, though, is the ability to turn on V-Sync. So that that can't work either? <laughs> yeah. So, so that can be totally busted. And, yeah, the soundtrack. The, everybody's already mentioned that it's repetitive, and it is. Two chairs. All right, that's two chairs for Shiny and Sounds. Up next is Control, the meat and potatoes of any fighting game. <clears throat> then, Definitely something you want to think about, and it's going to be very important, is how does it control? And let's just be honest with ourselves, gentlemen. I've played 3D Fighters, and I'm fuck-mothering PS1 that controlled better than this. Do you see this, Brad? This is a gamepad. This is not a fucking suggestion stick. I'm sorry. <laughs> Seriously, I gave up trying to execute the special moves. There was no point. Button mashing has the same othering effect, and if you're watching this in post, the video you're seeing behind us right now, that's just me sitting here just mashing buttons for 20 minutes and kicking ass. Control is just abysmal. I mean, when I say suggestion sticks, yeah, just, uh, I want you to move, uh, try to grab. 
The throw. I can never execute a throw to save my fucking life in a real fight with the AI. I mean, you can do it on training mode, but that really doesn't damn count. Yeah. With a fighting game, you need to have tight controls. Floaty would be a compliment to this game, and they're undeserving of the word floaty controls. This is just... Yeah, it might move, it might not. Who knows? And I'm not going to play it with a damn keyboard. But, in all fairness, they do work. So I'm still going to have to give it two chairs. Yeah, it worked. Um, uh, the default controller mappings didn't outright work on the PlayStation 4 controller, which I'm all up right now for our audio listening bros. Uh, but it did detect them, and you can actually remap the controls, which is nice. Something that, you know, Skullgirls doesn't let you do. Something that you should be able to do in a fighting game to better accommodate your particular style of play. But all of that is, that's all well and good until you try and execute combos, like Ven said, which will execute when they fucking feel like it. <laughs> um, and, and, and that's, and that's really where the, all my, the controls lie is part of the ability to play a fighting game is to actually be able to execute combos, which you really can't. But that's fine, because there's enough fuckbox combos here that'll just let you fuck some guy in a corner to death that you really don't need to worry about it. Yeah, the controls are a little floaty, but, I mean, eh, they, they work well enough, especially if you're fighting against the AI. Fighting against another human being, that's... Well, we're never going to find that out, because we're never going to play this game again. Three chairs. Yeah. You know, I don't mind playing fighting games with a keyboard. I beat... And... Just a little disclaimer before I get I get into it. I never thought that I'd be using Skullgirls as a positive example for a game on Linux. But here we are. I have beaten the entire Skullgirls story mode in Nightmare Mode with the keyboard. And it's still working. <laughs> I haven't smacked it through the desk yet, so that's good. Uh, but that's because Skullgirls has tight controls. This busted ass piece of shit will barely register anything more complex than a three or four hit combo. It's a pain in the ass. Oh, and the hit boxes are slightly larger than the character models because every now and again, there'll be like a 10 or 20 pixel distance between a kick from the AI and my character, for some reason, still gets hit. It gets three chairs on a technicality. But <sighs> I, for one, simply can't play a beat 'em up game on uh, a keyboard. So luckily, it picked up this uh, 360 controller. Uh, any game where I can't control the menu with the D-pad and the navigation with the thumbstick is in the least bit floaty, and it is in this game, it's going to get dinged a chair automatically right then and there. And I gotta dig in another chair because the controls lack the precision to execute any kind of combo moves. Two chairs. Alright, so that's two chairs for control. And finally, the cherry on top. The part you've been waiting for. The fun section. Ben, did you have fun playing Kings of Kung Fu? Kung Fu. Kung Fu. Kung Fu. Yes. Uh, well, Brad, let me just go ahead and start off by saying the AI in this game is pants on heads retarded. <laughs> Okay, let's get that out of the way. <laughs> yes. You know, I played it on easy for like 20 plus minutes using the um, patented five-fingered button mashing technique. No offense, Pedro. Um, I only died once, and l let me tell you, easy is where you genuinely want to play this game. Higher than that, uh, prepare to get killed to death because the CPU has the ability to... I don't know. What's, oh, execute moves. It does have that ability, which you do not, but I already hear you. Wevin! I'm blaming the controls of the truth. You can't really play! Exclamation 11 is. Oh, all right. Now. Well, listen, Brad. I have Skullgirls, and I've gotten my ass organ handed to me repeatedly for the first, like, two or three hours while I was learning how to play that game. Now, I can get about halfway up through the fucking ladder in the story mode. I'm getting better at it. How did I pull off this magical moon mystery? Well, let me tell you, I was able to learn the moves and get this. This is a good part. Pull them off. Actually execute them. Unlike this game, there's no chance of that shit. And it's simply something you can't accomplish with this game. You just button mash and you'll get through it. I would rather play Mortal Kombat on the OG Ghosting. Game Boy than this business. Seriously, this is a Linux fighter or a fighter in general 
that can only count to potato. I'm going to give it what it deserves, one chair. So, so then, would, would you refer to this as Kings of Kung Furp? <laughs> Kings of glue stick munching troglodyte. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, no, th this game does get, like, super boring after a while. The AI, like Ben said, is pretty rock stupid, and, yeah, just pointless button mashing. Uh, again, when, when, once you find your fuckbox combo that basically just locks them in a corner and doesn't let them actually do anything, you're pretty much golden for the rest of the arcade mode because you just lock people in the fucking corner and pound on them with down kick, down kick, down kick, close line push, down kick, down kick, down kick, close line push. Um, but and uh, but I mean, like it, at, for the first little bit, it was fun to knock some fuckers around as Chong Lee from Blood Sports, or I, call, I think they call him Lo Chi in this, which is just bad. <laughs> um, but, and, you know, sometimes, sometimes, uh, you, you combo someone good enough that you launch them up in the air and end up punching him in the dick that happened about six times for me. And that's pretty satisfying. I will give it that. But ultimately this game serves as nothing but a grim reminder that we will never have a Tekken game under Linux one share. Yeah. I played through the arcade mode with a single character and unlocked five of the game's total of 12 achievements. I saw all those notifications come up, and I'm like, okay, I think I'm done with this That's game. That's because you were playing as Hung Lo. <laughs> <laughs> with, 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 with his down kick, which is his third leg. Uh, but that's that's really bad, because it took me like 30-ish minutes, about half an hour, to actually get through the uh, the arcade mode with a single character. And that's still very much within the refund window. You're losing people to this game. There's no one chair. Mm -hmm. This game isn't quite boring enough for me to never play it again. But I don't think I'll be playing it alone again. I might make it an okay social game, assuming it supports local multiplayer. Mm -hmm. Assuming you'll so. find anyone who wants to play it with you? I'll give it two yeah. chairs. Yeah, good, yeah, like Pedro said, good luck finding anyone who actually wants to play this turd. That's one chair for fun, and if we tally everything up, surprise, surprise, it actually does squeak away with two whole chairs for on account of not being entirely busted. It's not sure if want. I'm pretty sure that I don't want it. Yeah. But um, these, uh, to, to be fair, they did send us some keys, full disclosure. So there is that. So, gentlemen, uh, actually, yeah, it's uh, final thoughts. Uh, like I said, I think this came out of early access way too soon. And there's a bit of controversy about this game because early on they said we're going to have online multiplayer. And a lot of people backed it for that and got it for that. And they're like, yeah, we're not going to have online multiplayer. Psych! Um, <laughs> I don't know if that was intentional or if they just couldn't figure out the netcode. And all that business, like I said, when I first Unity's played this... hard, you guys. You can go back and find the episode. <laughs> when they first sent us the keys, I was thinking, oh, God, somebody's trying to make a fighting game. This is going to be complete shit. Then I played it, and I was like, that's a pretty good um, game for early access. I mean, they got the, the basics there. I mean, yes, they're going to have to do, you know, rework the art, rework the music, get the fighting, make it look like the fighters are not marionettes and all that business. But they didn't. Why they didn't is beyond me. It's beyond my personal fucking comprehension. They just put it out. They, they they had the core of something that could have been cool as fuck. I mean, 70s Kung Fu. I watched that. I like that. Not as much as, um, what's his name? And Jennifer Anderson and um, Office Space. Oh, Office Space. Yeah, yeah, not quite that much, but I know about it. And this does not resemble any of that. It doesn't really bring anything back. P-Baby? Yeah, no. I mean... Finishing the arcade mode is mostly what most people do. They get the game, they play the arcade mode, especially fighting games, they play the arcade mode, and like, yeah, I beat it. And they set it off to the side. Of course, that was back in the day where Steam refunds were not a thing. Now they are. They're like, oh, that that's it? That's all I'm going to be doing with the game? Uh, there's no online multiplayer? Then what's the point? They're just going to go back to the Steam store and ask for a refund. Now, in all fairness, they are still updating the game. But... Yeah, they yeah. are. Yeah. But they're what, going what, to have what, to what, update a lot. What is the internal version of this? Like, 2,397,000.99926.5e to the power of 10 <laughs> Version minus. 3. 
<laughs> we yeah. added a character. <laughs> All right, wrap it up, us. Uh, it feels apathetic to me. Like they Didn't just kind of understand big word. They just kind of <laughs> built it, and then they're like, "Ah, eh, fuck it, we're, we're, we're done." Yolo. Yep. Yeah. Um, spe- speaking of uh, speaking of the old 1970s kung fu TV series, this game reminds me that I would rather be performing autoerotic asphyxiation than playing this game.